big news, huge changes that are coming to the DCU, led by James Gunn and Peter Sefran, who are now co-presidents or co-CEOs of the newly established DC Studios. James Gunn came and made a statement that they are making a 10-year plan for DC across movies, TV shows, games, and animations that are all going to be connected in one big Bible as they called it. And just less than a day ago, THR broke a news from multiple sources that has got the internet and Twitter going wild and crazy that Wonder Woman 3 with Patty Jenkins is not moving forward. It is said that James Gunn and Safran, as well as WB Pictures co-CEOs and co-chairs Michael DeLuca and Pamela Adby made they aware of the decision and that the movie does not fit with their new but still developing plans. And the weird thing is that by some coincidence or something, Gal Gadot shared a tweet about a day ago expressing her appreciation and love for the character wonder woman and thanking the fans and this all seems like did she know that this was going to happen that's why she made that tweet talking about the changes that are going to happen but we don't know yet whether she's going to continue to be our wonder woman or she's going to be recasted we'll see next is the uncertainty of man of steel 2 whether they are going to move forward or not. As you know, if you've watched Black Adam, Henry Cavill made an appearance in the movie in the post credit scene. They have seemingly setting up a Black Adam versus Superman movie or at least maybe a Black Adam versus Superman and Shazam like they did in the animation. We don't know yet. But a week after the movie came out, Henry Cavill came out with a video on Instagram to announce officially that he, he's back. Yeah, he's going to play Superman again. I wanted to make it official that I am back as superman and at that time that he was saying that he wasn't lying since wb was really developing a sequel to man of steel and we're meeting writers here and there even the current big dogs at the top you know at wb executives and all that kind of wanted a second chance for the snyderverse heroes you know possibly making another justice league movie with them you know since Zack snyder's justice league did well with the fans and all that but james gunn and safran's arrival just changed everything now on to aquaman they had a screening recently and and there was no Batman, no Michael Keaton or Ben Affleck. So as WB made that horrible decision to replace Ben Affleck with Michael Keaton, he shot his scenes for the movie. But later on, Jesse Momoa shared a video and a photo about how Ben Affleck was also going to be in the movie. They're going to cut Michael Keaton's part because it doesn't make sense to appear in Aquaman when, you know, Ben Affleck is supposed to be the Batman. But the thing is that they were supposed to, you know, change the timeline and replace Ben Affleck in the flesh. But now that Aquaman was coming before the flash it doesn't make sense that michael keaton will be in that movie it should be after but after the screening there's no batman in the movie which means that they've changed the plot that involved batman now from the article also it's saying that jesse momoa may be done with playing aquaman after the lost city the final movie that you know is made by the old regime to play lobo you know the hardcore bad mouthing cigar chomping bounty hunter this anti-hero of a character and <laughs> jesse momoa did make a weird video a while ago Go. I don't know. Maybe it is related to this. This change. Some of the greatest news in my life just happened. I can't say anything about it. I can't wait to share with you, but they won't let me share anything. I want you to remember this day, November 6th. Mwah! Now, in regards to the Flash, from the previous screening that they had, everything remains unchanged. Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck are not part of the new timeline. Keaton is now the new Batman of the DCU, and Supergirl replaces Henry Cavill's Superman. But some new info that THR and other reputable sources have now come out to say is that Henry Cavill has shot his Superman cameo for the Flash, and it was shot in September. The only thing now is that they are debating whether to include that cameo in the movie or not, because if they do, they now have to include him if they didn't before in their plans for his own projects and cameos and other projects as well it's crazy man i just hope that this <laughs> this is actually changed and we actually get to see him make a cameo in the movie he's not the only one you know ben affleck is already going to be in the movie i think wonder woman or is it aquaman who's supposed to also be in there or is it both i don't know my memory is foggy right now there was also a part of the article that talked about black adam how a sequel is unlikely at this point with you know their plans not including that so it's just crazy 
crazy how The Rock has been hyping, you know, Black Adam and possible spin-offs and all that. Variety came out, you know, a while ago to talk about how the movie was going to flop and lose over 50 million. And just about a day ago, The Rock himself came, you know, to say otherwise. He said the movie was instead going to make, you know, a profit of over 50 million. It would be a shame if this happens. The Rock has been trying to make this movie for over 10 years. He's finally done it. And then when he's planning a sequel, other spin-offs, <laughs> this also happens the blue beetle movie that is supposed to come out you know it's still a goal james gunn shared a poster for the movie and ccxp saw them also come out to talk about the movie and all that so that movie is safe unlike batwoman which the directors said they met with james gunn to talk about the movie we'll see how that also goes james gunn and safran are also not touching matt reeves the batman or the other spin-offs they know that that one <laughs> is a certified gem right there they can't mess with it so now the overall big thing is that James Gunn and Peter Safran are meeting David Zaslav to give their presentation and plans for DCU next week. So this is literally going to make or break the new DCU. I mean, or even break it further with how things are going. And the projects that they are planning are actually going to start after Aquaman and the Lost City has already come out because that is a movie that ends with the old regime. So next week is going to be crazy. This news, people are going crazy about it. People are angry. People are happy. You know that they are finally plans for dcu and that they are going to reboot everything and start afresh but that is also not good because people have now fallen in love with these characters that we already know imagine if the mcu that's what they did they make a couple of movies and they just rebooted everything because we all know the mcu starting not every movie was a germ some of these movies were not accepted wholly but they are now you know considered the pillars that built mcu and that's what made dc you know fall off because they just wanted to make money fast they were just wanted everything to just go from one to 100 instead of building a steady pillar for everything to stand on and be strong so now we we'll wait till next week and see where all these characters be recasted did henry cavill just waste his time quite a shame that henry cavill announcing that he's coming back as superman giving up the witcher even though there's more to it you know sources saying that it's also because they are not respecting the source materials among other things man this is all just messy is Jason Momoa going to forfeit playing Aquaman and start playing Lobo? Is Gaga Dot going to continue playing Wonder Woman even though they are cancelling Wonder Woman 3? Like what the hell is going on? Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell, not to miss any other video. As always, Nerdy Sage here. See you guys in the next one.